So we have one final thing I want to show you. Um, we have skipped over all of these nice fancy plugins. A major part of Grasshopper is the open source plugin library. And in many ways, Grasshopper really is your highway to the open source knowledge network that is the internet. Um, Grasshopper is much more than simply a thing that drives Rhino. Uh, Grasshopper can also control other programs. And through further tutorials, you'll see us will end up controlling Excel. Um, there are plugins I hear I happen to be on uh, Ladybug. This is a component that runs um, Radiance and DaySim. These are uh, daylighting, external daylighting programs. There's external uh, structural analysis programs. All kinds of things can be modified using plugins. Uh, so to be a good Grasshopper user, you really need to uh, download plugins. Let's open up Google here. So the thing you need to know, food for Rhino. So all of you should uh, launch food for Rhino and create an account. I'm already signed in. This is the app warehouse for Rhino and Grasshopper. So if you go to Grasshopper apps, you'll see there's all, all kinds of things. And if you um, sort by say downloads, it'll show the most popular ones first. You should all download Lunchbox. I think everybody has it. I can't imagine not. It just has really cool, useful um, things. And there are more plugins than we have time to go to go through. Uh, but odds are good if you're trying to do something, someone else has already tried to do it. And what's amazing about the open source community is that everyone makes it and gives it away for free. So let's show you how you can download one. So something that we're actually going to use is Bifocals. This is a, a pretty simple um, plugin, um, but I'll actually show you it in action. So right now, you see that we have these labeled with uh, just the icon like this. Well, if I were to go, I already have this downloaded. This little command here is, a, is the Bifocals plugin. As soon as I drop this into my canvas, you'll see that it's naming the plugin as well. Give me a nice little um, icon. We're going to use this throughout the tutorials so that you can see what plugins are what. So how do you get this as well so that you can see um, these names? Pretty useful, especially if you're trying to learn, right? see the icon you can see what it's called so if we go back to food for rhino um, if I want to download bifocals you'll have to set up your own account I can uh, zoom down here it shows all the different um, versions so I will look for the latest simply click download and it will show up here in my download tab let's pull this up you'll see I already downloaded it previously um, Let's start by, actually, I'm going to make sure that it's the correct name. So I'm going to use bifocals.gha. Make sure you right click. Um, I'm going to do this once again so you can see it in the exact way. So I'm going to download this. I want to make sure that the, the name is correct. So if I right click here, properties, make sure you click unblock. This allows it to work. So in order to get this into Grasshopper, um, I can just click and drag directly into Grasshopper and it'll load it up into my plugins library. Um, but what is the plugins library? Uh, if you go to special folders, this components folder should launch. Here we go. You'll see I have a whole bunch of stuff downloaded, a ton of things. And here's that .gha file. And I bet, there you go, I already have bifocals loaded up. So if you follow this path, you'll see that this is under my app data, Roman, Roman Grasshopper libraries. I never remember where this is, so again, you can find it through File, Special Folders, Components Folder. Um, simply dragging and dropping any of those plugins into here will uh, allow it to um, launch. Now, be sure to read the installation instructions for every plugin. Some uh, require something a little bit different. You'll notice there's DLL files as well. So if it has an automatic installer, go ahead and just use that. But in general, if you put uh, GHA files into this folder, uh, they will show up in Grasshopper. It will require a restart of Rhino itself. So once you have it loaded, shut down Grasshopper, shut down Rhino. When you restart, it'll load everything into Grasshopper. There are other component types. So if I do special uh, folders, user objects, uh, these are also plugins, but they're just built in a different way. And if I were to say, look at Ladybug, this .gh user object, all of these need to go under the user objects folder. And once I have those loaded up, just like the GHA components, I'll have a whole series of little modules that I could um, click and drag. 
So uh, with that, uh, you should have been able to download uh, your very first plugin. And upon relaunch, you'll be able to see it up here. It actually will show up in your param tab. If you're curious where any of these uh, files live, if you hold Control and Alt and you click, it will tell you what tab it's in. So let's say I'm here under here, Control Alt, that I shows up. It'll direct you to where you can find it in the toolbar. Pretty useful, especially when you get a whole bunch of these commands. So the final thing that I want to share with you um, is common knowledge, but Google is your friend. If you run into a problem, there is a ton of stuff out there uh, to help you. Uh, so simply Google any problem you're having, and odds are you'll be sent to maybe Grasshopper 3D. This is Grasshopper's um, sort of uh, forum page. It has a whole bunch of, uh, in this case, if you need help, they, they actually have a Rhino forum that's on a discourse tab. This is a sort of a semi-recent edition. So uh, lots of problems have already been solved. People who have um, issues will post them and then people will respond and reply with solutions to those problems. So again, if you're stuck, you're not the first person probably to have that issue. Uh, Google it and likely you will find it. Also under Grasshopper 3D, there's just a ton of ton of information on here. I encourage you all to, uh, to check it out. Uh, so Food for Rhino is where you get your plugins. Grasshopper 3D uh, is a great um, location for uh, other uh, resources. And this uh, forums and support, again, the Rhino forum is fantastic. And typically you'll find this if you Google your problem. Uh, there are also a whole variety of sample file uh, websites out there. Shout out to, to HydraShare, um, Generative Landscapes. Um, but the internet is your friend. And again, Grasshopper is not only just a parametric modeling platform, a visual scripting interface, it's also an open source community. Um, and you will really be able to leverage Grasshopper best if you learn how to leverage the existing plugins. Don't reinvent the wheel. Someone else probably has already done it better than you. You might as well leverage what others have done and build something higher. Uh, so that concludes our uh, volume zero. I hope by now you have a sense of how to build a basic parametric model in Grasshopper. And if you'd like to uh, get into more advanced topics, I encourage you to continue on with volume um, one and on to learn more about lists and how to build a, uh, a real um, architectural facade. So thank you.